What's up guys? Paige signing on with a new video. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, we're gonna do something different. As you could tell by the title, Paige does art. <laughs> I wanted to do something that was aligned with the original vision of this channel, which was to push myself to do different things. Music is something that I'm comfortable with and familiar with. I mean, it's always gonna be a part of my life, but right now I've just been enjoying making art and not being afraid to make bold strokes. Lately, the medium has just been a pen um, and just doing a lot of fun line work. So I'm gonna talk about my art wall and the journey that I've gone on so far this year. And I'm gonna sit here and do a time-lapse of doodling on this pumpkin, which I thought would be a great canvas. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> that's the plan. I look artsy already, look at this bean. Alfredo. We are going to start with the drawing that started it all. Um, shout out to my friend Maddie. I was at an event of hers and they were giving out documents and they had left blank space on the cover. And they said, feel free to make art and doodle. Um, and I didn't know that many people there. <laughs> so I went in on that and this was the tree that came out of it. And I liked it so much that I stuck it on the wall and I said to myself, why don't I just keep making art and sticking it on my wall? I thought that would be fun. Next piece is a drawing that I made when I was with my friend Dana. I literally just Google imaged an eye and recreated it and was really just obsessed with the eye color and wanted to just have fun with that. So I found some pastels and this is what I made. This piece was actually the first piece that I intentionally made in my house. We have this art corner at, and I used it for the first time. Found a couple of colored pencils and a marker and made this fire and ice type of drawing. Next is a quick doodle with a pen and a tiny sticky note. And I said, no matter how small it is, it's gonna go on the wall. Below that, this was just a sit down and try to make something random kind of moment. I think if I had to pick one, I think this is the one I dislike the most. Here's another sit down, just try to make something. I was just trying different ideas and starting to play with objects more. And then I was like, I don't know if I like objects that much. I might go stick back to lines. <laughs> Next piece is the heart. I think in light of the Google image eye that I had seen earlier, I was like, let me try to Google image something else and draw that. So I thought of this heart. I also threw up things that I colored and just pieces from a coloring book that I had found. Next, this piece, I feel like it was definitely going off of the heart and really liking marker stuff so i believe i had did the marker lines first and like made some shapes filled them in and then went in with the red gel pen and was able to fill in some of those details which is really cool well i'm pretty sure i started with this and i was filling in lines and uh clearly thinking and running out of objects to think of to draw um but yeah, these are just four sticky notes and a Sharpie that I was drawing at work. So I'm bored trying to entertain myself or give my body something to do. Um, and it turned into, I guess, a slightly bigger piece, but like its own piece. This is one of the coolest pieces I think I've made in terms of being empowered to like make a design or really make bold lines. Um, I was on the phone with someone and there are certain letters or lines that look like they were inspired by letters of someone's name. Um, and it was actually them that inspired this piece that I haven't told them. But I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's great. I remember drawing this one at a party. I sat in the corner and tried to make a design. Yeah, that I'm sure that's partially why it's messy too, is because I ripped it in a type of way. This is just color pencil. I just, I was inspired by all those tangling videos. Um, and I was like, I can maybe try to do that. And so I tried to fold it in eighths and tried to get some of those guidelines. So that's what that is. This is just onion. I just drew onion. And I was like, how do we make this onion look different? Make it blue. <laughs> well, these are a series of just designs that I did all together or like in a row. I believe I was on the phone with someone in my family. Yeah, I just doodled, I just grabbed a marker 
and I feel like this was a confirmation for me that I really just like line works and like repetition and it's been cool to see even the journey of how that's been what I've leaned more towards. You can see it in this. It's a mixed medium um, and it has larger strokes, big strokes, like a combination. Um, and then you fill in shapes around that. Actually, I think I drew the shapes first and then I filled them in. It's just a, it's just a random fun one. I saw a sticker book downstairs in our art room and I was like, how do I use these stickers? And I was like, I'll just match them with colors. Um, and I was like, yeah, I need to fill this wall more because I wanted to cover more ground by doing a bigger thing, even if it's not as intricate. Um, yeah, last but not least, this is one of the pieces I'm like most proud of. Um, I was just sitting in a Zoom call with one of my belong groups and I wanted to find a way to listen and be there and give my focus to something. And I just picked up a pen and I just had fun with lines. This was the first stroke. It was literally this and everything flowed from there. Um, and what's cool is that I doodled it and it happened to be on watercolor paper. And so to make it complete, I was like, let me add color afterwards. There's just so many lines, so many different swirls, so many different thoughts, so many different inspos. All these geometric shapes our last because I was like let me fill in this space in a cool way um but yeah I really just like started here and kind of worked around like this almost I mean there were some big pieces um I'm just really proud of this this is so cool some issues one was like the pen was drying really fast uh, the other issue is uh working on a curved surface i should have thought about that and the other thing was my pen didn't have a lot of ink so it feels a little more faded than i would have liked and i kind of wore the, the tip of the pen down because i guess it's puncturing into pumpkin skin um but mission complete I hope you enjoyed that video <laughs> if you feel so moved like comment subscribe all those good things social media wise you know where to find me and until next time back to you and your life page signing off see you